You will be a firecracker. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> now, let's see. I think you will be a... A pelican? A rhinosaurus? No, I will be a magician. And my last trick will go over me the bank. Goodbye, woodpecker. Goodbye, Professor. You! What are you doing here? I decided not to go. In that case, I'll go. Arctic, wily hunters are constantly on the search for the native polar bear, considered a fine prize among the zoos of the world. We see here, bring them back alive, Clive, who is now on the search for one of these huge animals. Here, we see one of these magnificent specimens, powerful, crafty, equally at home, on land or on sea. <laughs> I can't swim. Gosh, thank you. It's all right. You saved my life. Yes, I did. I am forever grateful. That's nice. From now on, you're my chum. Okay. <laughs> Little pal. It's all right. Well, let's go fishing. This is my own invention. Instant polar bear cage. <laughs> How about that? Now, I'll bait the trap. Hey, you! Get out of here! Dead, ready, dirty, brown, and stummy, grunt, and spudgy. No, no! Whatever you do, don't touch that button. No! No! Help! Help! Get me out of here! Help! Help! <laughs> I wish I had one of these things. You like? Yeah. Hey, you! Get away from there!
going to get rid of that pesky bird. Hold on there. You can't shoot my little pal. Oh, yeah? I will immobilize that bear with this hand grenade, which is loaded with laughing gas. Tranquilizer ball. There he is, in line for a perfect shot. my old college football momentum. Did you play, Pop? Did I play? Look at this. That, my boy, is the champions of 1904. Gee, where were you, Pop? That's him on the end, Junior. He was the water boy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hmm. Come on, Junior. I'll show you a few things about football. Water boy, indeed. <laughs> What you standing on your head for, Pop? Shut up! If you're gonna play football, Charlie, you've got to go outside! Water boy, let me tell you. Come on, Pop. I thought we were gonna play football. 24, 7, 32, 1861, 19,423, 6, 1. Hold it. Hold it. What's with all the numbers? Just say, hike. OK, Pop. Hike. Very funny. Very funny. Hey, Junior, you get into these and be a tackling dummy. You get in, Pop. You make a bigger dummy than me. Yeah. All right, come on, tackle me. Is that 
with you, Pop? <laughs> See some fancy kicking, Junior. You place this ball, and I will place kick it right over the house. Okay, Pop. Gee whiz, how far back is he going? Here I come. Ready, Pop. Oh, help! I'm out! It's first aid! Oh, crutches! Liniment! <laughs> this is the only way to get involved in a football game. Watch it. I bet I can kick this football over the house. Come on, kick it! Kick! For crying out loud, now what happened? Uh, well, uh, the, the guy on TV, he kicked the ball right through the screen. Charlie, you expect me to believe that? Give me that ball. Well, I... Water boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the best would be a pretty good time for a Woody Woodpecker cartoon. is the lifeline of our nation's communication system. The intricate network of this vital industry is maintained by the tireless sentinel, the troubleshooter. Testing, one, two, three. This dedicated watchman of the wires daily braves the furies of the element. Lightning, rain, fog, and wind. Well, being a troubleshooter in this vital industry, I now have trouble to shoot. Testing. One, two, three. Oh, 
man am I pooped. I need a rest. Ugh. Well, what a cayuse bungalow. Complete with telephone. Ta -ta -tum -tum -ta -da -dee -dee -doo -dum. Hello, hello, room service? Um, uh, yeah? One ham sandwich on mine. Hold the mustard. One ham sandwich, hold the mustard. Okay. Tum -tum -tum -ta -da -dee -dum -tum -tum -tum. Thank you, boy. Here's a nickel. Mm -mm. In all my years in this vital industry, I've never... Huh? Room service? One, two, three. Testing. One, two, three. One, two, three. Testing. Say, who writes your stuff anyway? Um, well, I mean, I, I only got up to my threesies. Well, take five. <laughs> In all my years in this vital industry, this is the first time this has ever happened. Now, see here. Uh, um. That does it. No trespassers allowed in this vital industry. Howdy, little bird. Um, uh, this here's room service, and if you're getting a bit hungry, I'll bring you over a cracker. Oh, no. Not the old firecracker bit. Well, there goes that gag out of the window. That's enough. I'm getting out of this noisy neighborhood. Testing. One, two, three. In the old one, two, three. In all my years in this vital industry, this is the second time this has ever happened. Well, what's this? Man, what a cool pad. I mean, real cozy. I better use my safety belt for this important job. In all my years in this vital industry, this is the third time this has ever happened. It's that woodpecker again. Hey, you. This is vital industry property. You'll have to blow. Anything you say. In all my years in this vital industry. <laughs> 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 rests with confidence, knowing full well the troubleshooter keeps his vital industry going at any cost. Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs>
Man, I'm hungry. Uh-oh. Well, there's a soft touch for a meal. <laughs> Hello, dear little old lady. What you eating? Sugar-coated popcorn, sweet little birdie. Mmm, boy, I just love popcorn. <laughs> and then I'll feed you. Well, there's a deal. The crow dances, and the farmer feeds him. I gotta think of a plan. Hey, bub, do you like popcorn? Did you say popcorn? Uh-huh. What kind? Fresh, hot buttered popcorn. Did you say hot and buttered? Yeah, and sugar-coated, too. Did you say sugar-coated? <laughs> Where? New York. Yeah? Yeah. Thanks, pal. You're a pal. Goodbye, pal. Today, I'm afraid. I better go see what he's up to. <laughs> Why, that isn't Jubilee. That's a woodpecker. I shall have to throw a scare into him to teach him a lesson. Oh, man, am I gonna stuff myself? Be termite. <laughs> hey, where's my food? And what am I doing on a tray? I'm no entree. Of course not. You want to be stuffed, don't you? Righto, Daddy-o. My little tummy needs stuffing bad. With meat and potatoes. Hey, I like you. Hey, what's with all the birds, Rufus? Oh, I stuff birds. That's my hobby. And this place is reserved for you. Huh? Uh-huh. Uh, aren't you, uh, overlooking one little thing? You see, I happen to be a crow. Caw, caw, caw. Caw, caw. Caw, 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 caw. Caw, caw, caw. caw. I hope I'm not overacting. Boo! 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 Now, my fine feathered friend, we shall go to the stuffing room. You will look fine right there. Stuffed with sawdust. I don't like sawdust. Um, uh, cracker crumbs? No, no, I'm too young to... All right. Promise you won't try to play crow anymore? Oh, I promise. Scout's honor. I never want to see another crow. You may go. Oh, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, uh. Hello, 
Jubilee. Uh, welcome home. Did you see the sweet little old lady? And was she eating popcorn? Mm, sugar coated? And what did she give you? Get away from this cold country. I'll f freeze to death. And now, folks, some Hawaiian music from the warm tropical shores of Ulahaka Hickey Island. Warm tropical shores? That's for me. I'm going to find a lion, the tropic sun and sand. I'll pack my grub and gear and beat it out of here. I'll find a southern So long, goodbye, get lost. I'll head south and defrost. Just a minute, little feller. You can't go. You're a penguin. Penguins have to live where it's cold. If you went south, you'd melt. Goodbye, little pal. Parting gets me here. What's the matter? Don't you want me to go? Well, I'm gonna go. I can't stay here and freeze. Goodbye, little penguin. Bye. So long, pal of mine. Bye bye. <laughs> for that welcome home stuff. I'm going to a warmer climate. A going away present for me? How nice. Hope it's something I need. Thanks. I'll open it later. Goodbye, little friend. <laughs> I just knew that boy would get around to helping me. That's a spirit tool. Hawaii, here I come. Contact. It didn't work. Any other ideas? Let her go, boy. 
It didn't work. Are you sure this will work, son? Okay, birds, let's go. It didn't work. This idea is my own, by air, the only way to travel. Bessie, what's the matter with that vacuum? I don't know, Charlie. It never did that before. I can't stand machinery that don't work properly. <laughs> A shot of oil will do the trick. There you are, my dear. Good as new. If you want anything done right, just call on old Charlie. Oh, you're so smart. Well, you didn't marry any old dummy, you know. Uh. Mama. Mama. What's the matter with your dolly, Susie? I don't know, Daddy. You never did that before. Don't worry, sweetheart. We'll fix it in a jiffy. Here we are. Mama! <laughs> now what's the matter? I don't know, Pop. It never did that before. All it needs is oil, son. There, try it now. That round gulf is dead black. There's a cricket in there. Get out of there. <laughs> 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 
Junior, come help me! You call me, Pop? Get this thing off of me! Oh, Pop! Oh, for crying out loud. Sunshine State, playground of the tired rich, the retired, and the just plain tired. Gabby Gator is always tired and always hungry. I am truly starving. Man, I got me a big one. Hey, you is no fish. You is only us. Got you this time. What's this? Woody Woodpecker says, Southern cooking is my favorite. Oh, he do, does he? Well, shut my mouth on a woodpecker stew. Dear Woody Woodpecker, Hollywood, California. Is your mouth a-watering for some scrumptious Southern home cooking? 
Does the thought of fried chicken, black eyed peas, hominy grits, and chitlins titillate your taste buds till you can't stand it no more? Then come south with your water and mouth. You was invited to be my guest. Signed, Chef Gabby Gator. This ought to bring him a running. Dinner is about to be served. Welcome to Gabby's Diner. Where's all that good old southern chow? Here's the first course. You'll start out with a jumbo-sized box lunch. Boy, oh boy, is my mouth watering. Hey, there's no lunch in here. There is now. <laughs> oh, this woodpecker's gonna taste good. I can't wait. <laughs> hey, what's cooking? You'd be surprised, sonny boy. But, sir, I came down here for some southern cooking. And that's what you're getting. Hmm, this looks more like a New England boiled dinner. <laughs> and what's the matter with that? Phooey! Phooey, I'm getting out of here. Goodbye! Man, now I gotta get me an idea fast. I got it! A real southern twister! What will I do? What will I do? Head for the storm cellar! Hurry, boy! Run for your life! To the storm cellar! Oh, my goodness! Hold on, boy! You'll need this lightning rod. Might be a bad electrical storm. My homemade barbecue pit. Now I'm gonna have me a real Hawaiian luau. Yes, sir. A wow of a luau. Uh-oh. This little woodpecker's been taken for a pigeon. I gotta keep this cat groovy or I'll wind up in the gravy. What are you cheering about? You is the dinner. Ah, uh, you don't want to eat scrawny little old me. Yeah, you is kind of scrawny. How would you like a nice, juicy swamp steak? Swamp steak? That sounds good. What is it? Where are we going to get it? I'll show you. Swamp steak. Oh, that's a surprise. Now turn around and hide your eyes. Man, I love surprises. Now that's what I call a real swamp steak. Now no fair peeking. Oh no, I wouldn't peek. Uh oh, we need more wood. I'll get it. There you are. Thank you. Man, it's getting warm. Keep cool, old boy. The swamp steak is almost done. Wow, this day is a sizzler. There you are, swamp steak a la king. <gasps> yum, yum. Now take a big bite. You bet I will. <laughs> well, what do you know? Potted swamp steak. <laughs>
I am bored still. Where is my court jester? Dooley! Coming, fire! Do something funny, jester. Make me laugh. <laughs> Watch this. I'm a rooster. From the <laughs> that gag laid an egg to lay. Watch this. This'll kill you. You know, Dooley, I don't think I'll pick up your option. Oh, how much wood would a woodpecker pick with a woodpecker wood pick wood? <laughs> this little fellow is very funny. Mm, that gives me an idea. You, fetch me that woodpecker. <laughs> yes, sire. And make haste, or... <laughs> off with your head! <laughs> yes, sire. <laughs> Lower the drawbridge! Raise the drawbridge! Dad Zooks, lower the drawbridge! Yeah! Thank <laughs> you. 
off the game, Jetstar. This gag will be great when someone invents television. <laughs>
Calling all ships at sea, calling all ships at sea. Get the move on. I'll take all you can catch. Ahoy! Sending two boat loads of fish. Snap it up, snap it up. Get the move on. I'll take all you can catch. All right, bring him in. Get the move on. Heave away. That's a good boy. Now bring him to Wally. Hello, hello. More fish, more fish. Send more fish. By golly, Wally can retire and go fishing. Heave away. Heave ho. Starship load. Oh, Wally boy is going to be rich. I'm going to retire. <laughs> oh, money, money. I got lots of money now. Oh, I'm getting rich. They're going to sell the store and selling all the fish. Hello? Hello? More fish! More fish! Send more fish! Quite a bit of trouble. As a matter of fact, for a while it was a question of who stops who. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Don't worry, he won't hurt you. He stopped. Now this one here, uh, uh, I ran out of stopping. <laughs> this one almost got away. On this one here, folks, is the rhino. Uh, this is a camelback, uh, uh, a fishtail zebra. There, to tell the truth, I made that one up from some odd pieces I had left over. Now this little dumb cop, boy, he was the worst one of them all. Let me tell you how I finally outsmarted the little gushtoka on capturing him. One day, while I was out looking for specimens for stuffing, <laughs> Sounds like a woodpecker pecking. <laughs> My, what a fine specimen. Say, kiddo, how would you like to be stalked, eh? Thanks, but I just ate. Maybe some other time? <laughs> what a sense of humor. Say, kiddo, you're pretty sharp there. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful sense of humor. <laughs> so, while I was resting, I was planning my next move. It is a well-known fact that woodpeckers like acorns, so... Then the little stinker comes by, I will zop him up in the vacuum machine. <laughs> yeah. Ah, an acorn. Why don't you start? Now, I was getting mad. 
At this point, I decided I would have to use a little strategy. Disguising myself as a proper woodpecker, I would fool the little fella. Woody, my son, it's me, your papa. Hmm, I always thought I was an orphan. Come, I take you home and stuff, uh, feed you. Wise guy, no bloody rides without a ticket. Try to match with me, the professor, will you? Hi. Hello there. <laughs> It was a shram bang scuffle, but the big smart alec wound up being stuffed. Yeah. Well, I still had to catch the woodpecker, so I cooked up a very ingenious plot. <laughs> Stop me. I was determined to catch that woodpecker. Just 
right into 13. But you're our friend, and we'll save you. Hide in there. It's safe. Thanks, pal. <laughs> Love those mice. <laughs> This thing belong to you. Someone?
another cartoon. <laughs>
this here's the rich one. Here's your 50 cents. Now, where's my brew? Right this way, lady. He's a lovable boy. It's right in there. And away we go! That ain't it. And away we go! That ain't it. And away we go! 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 And away we go! some strategy.
I got her! Her goose is cooked this time! I tell you, Pete, this means war. War? I better check with my draft board. Hear this, Goose. I hereby declare a state of war now exists. Here's another egg for you, Goosey. <laughs> I got a golf ball. If it's the last thing I do, Pete, I'm gonna get me a birdie. Four. Termite, you're not be committing any more atrocities for me fine furniture. Oh, long wood Now, who could be ringing the doorbell at a crucial moment like this? Are you Terence Patrick Mulligan O'Houlihan? Yes, I am. I have a present for you. This is a check for one billion dollars. A billion dollars? Because I'm rich. Yes, indeed, you are. However, there is one stipulation you must observe at all times. If you are found hurting, abusing, acting in a pernicious, malignant, noxious, or injurious manner toward a bird, the entire billion dollars will be reclaimed. Oh, boy! He can't touch me! I've got it made! Congratulations, oh hand, oh buddy, oh pal, oh chum! Or pal, is it? Why, I'll murder you, woodpecker! Ha, ha, ha! She's only a joke, I think. Why wouldn't be harming the little pal for a billion dollars? Real noble I am, in me devotion, and kindness to me feathered friends. Good day, and a good, good day to you. Ah, I'm rich. Tis a mention I'm buying myself, Woodpecker. This old shack is all yours. Ha, ha, ha. 
Oh, it is a game we're playing, and my friend is winning as usual. <laughs> he always gets me in the end. <laughs> Me benefactor. Tis good to see you again, Mr. Factor. Don't try the soft soap, me. <laughs> I'm that surprised to see you, you could knock me over with a feather. <laughs> Let you and I be friends with Pecker. We'll have a mutual non-aggression pact. Just sign on a dotted line. <laughs> Just press the button like this. Oi, poor boards. She's a prison from me to your work. A little place to call your own. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Box in the audience. I have a billion dollar check for her. Come on, Charlie. Thank you. 
fast. <laughs> Don't get excited, folks. I have the situation in hand. Oh, it won't be long now. <laughs> the escapade is over, Mr. Crash McDad. Back to jail we go.
way to see a Woody Woodpecker cartoon. Let's go! <laughs> They fly swift and straight as an arrow to their destination. The swallow, the crow, the bobolink, the bluebird, the meadowlark, redwing, chickadee, whippoorwill, woodpecker, blackbird, sparrow, mockingbird, rock and waxwing, chicken hawk, flamingo, turtle dove, black hawk, the pigeon, the rabbit, the lizard. Here we see wild geese making their annual wild geese the goose chase. Freeloaders often attach themselves to these flocks. And far below, wily hunters take pot shots at the passing birds. Yes, some folks fish, 
But if you ain't heard of a pressure cooked bird, I'll lay you a bet that you ain't at yet.
are you, bully boy? <coughs> I say, we should have drunk. Thanks, you're a French poodle. May we? Parlez-vous français? Don't mind if I do. Parlez-vous parois? <laughs> Prepare all dogs for judging. Prepare all dogs for judging. All in line, Sam. Seven, six, and ten, Ali. Champion Punchwell, the fourth. Hey. That's the name I gave you for the show. The judging is to be conducted on the following basis. One, physical perfection. Physical perfection? How's this? Oh, no. The jig is up. And get this one. He gets. And this always gets up. And next, personality. Hey, Joe, why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know. Why did the chicken cross the road? Because you don't need his side. Yuck, 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 yuck. I can't believe it. And now, obedience. Champ, we're in the money. And now, to announce the grand champion. Hello, Priscilla. We're back again. la di la di la Let's Feather routine. Ticky, ticky, ticky. <laughs> thank you, thank you. It was nothing. Nothing. Caramba, leave it to him in La Panza. I say, good show, jolly good show. <laughs> Once a rowdy, always a rowdy. Rum, bum, in, bum, 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 Once upon a time, 
there was a little girl named Red Riding Hood. One day, her mother called her and said, Now we can get ready for the walk. Wow, which one is Granny's house? Is it Granny? Is it Granny? Granny must be having a party. I hope they are careful with their cigarettes. Here he comes. Isn't this a fine story, children? And... <clears throat> Granny! Come in. Hi, Granny. Have you been here? Oh, just that pesky malnutrition again. Had a long, oh, a long time. Hmm. Say out. No! What big eyes you have, Granny. And what a big nose you have. And what big teeth you have, Grandma. Grannies, woodpeckers. What crackers? Menu? Are the tamales good? Oh, yes, and all the truck drivers eat here. Ah, oh, so they do. with matches results in loss to everyone. What big teeth you have. A wolf! This picture doesn't end anything like the book. Charlie Bear. He's Papa. 
And I'm his loving wife, Betsy. We have a teenage son. We call him Chuck. He has a dear little sister, Susan Dare. And this is the family pet, Gooseberry. <coughs> Susie just adores Goose. But Charlie and Goose don't get along at all. When you see the story of how Goose came to the family, I'm sure you'll understand. It happened on Susie's birthday. Susie's birthday. And Goose, you're my best present of all. Oh. 
Courtesy of Colonel Playbush, we is permitted to drive through his 60,000 acre estate. Oh, hum. How boring. The Colonel's estate is the home of many, many rare and priceless trees. Rare and priceless trees? Hmm, boy. <laughs> And there, on our right, is a fine specimen of weeping willow. <laughs> Here is a beautiful fir tree. And uh, a giant shoe tree. We is now approaching the mansion of Colonel Fleabush. And, uh-oh, there is the Colonel now, in person. Oh, my rare anthropologian, fine specimen and my beautiful cerebellious cornificent, blended trees. An idle painted woodpecker, exquisite cellar. Woodpecker? Oh, my priceless tree. Where's that confounded cat? Filbert! 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 You loafer! There's a woodpecker out there. And I give you just a few minutes to get rid of it. Do you understand? Two minutes. Now get going! My beautiful Odensa Floris, it, it's dead. Oh, 
about to pass through the ruins of Colonel Fleabush's estate. These were once the pride and joy of this vast estate, ladies and gentlemen. Hilbert! All of this damage is said to be caused by a woodpecker. My bird! Oceanland Aquarium. Here below the ocean surface, spectators gather to watch the passing show. Strange fish, rare and beautiful, glide by in an everlasting parade of color. Here we see a hammerhead shark. This is the Louisiana catfish. Meow. And the dogfish. <laughs> this little fellow is a puffer fish. Watch him puff up. An amazing show of control. Uh-oh. This is drama of the deep, folks. The greedy cannibal fish. Too bad, but it's survival of the fittest. What's this? The puffer fish is using his extraordinary power to save his life. Good show, puffer. When two swordfish meet, it usually means a duel. Feeding time at the porpoise tank is always a big event and the most popular attraction for the tourists. On his platform high above the tank, attendant Smedley is about to feed the porpoise. Now watch how daintily the porpoise takes the fish. I'll have to slow this boy up. Come and get it. Hey, you. No fishing allowed in the aquarium. Focus your eyeballs on that sign, Sonny. Check all fishing tackle at desk. Now get lost. <laughs> Come and get it. Mm -hmm. I'd have swore that was the penguin. Come and get it again. That does it. 
I double dare you to try that once more. <laughs> that boy don't know him, but he's messing around with an old ball player. Next time, I'll just bat him over left field fence. <laughs> Mighty good fastball that boy's got. I'll land him with my rod and reel. I'll use a little strategy. Come and get it. Doggone! Dark in here. Turn on the light. That's better. Yipe! I'm mad, and I'm going to do me a little snipe shooting. Reach, boy. Pesky shark. Only one thing to do. Drain the tank. Just a cotton picking minute, you, you micro moocher. Okay, Fido. Where's your dog license? Dog license? Heck, I ain't no dog. You are too a dog. I got a job. I can talk. Oh, yeah? And sometimes I forget. I am a dog. <laughs> Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed our show. Join us again on our next program for a half hour of fun with your old pal, Woody Woodpecker. See you on our next show. Bye now. <laughs>